live in Ann Arbor, and ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. blocking by the left side on the ball came out let's take another did that, he get across he called that down but i believe that was a fumble we could not see from this vantage point except in this replay they'll run the tailback on a nice counter back and he squirts out to the 33 and it looks like it could be a first down and real good this is second down at nine harbaugh to put it up for the first time drops it off to morris look at the blockers form for jamie Jamie's out the midfield and to the 49-yard line of the Hawkeyes where he's finally brought down by J.J. Puck. That's a 14-yard gain. 7-0, Hawkeyes with an early lead. There's the wishbone look for the first time. And Harbaugh runs out of it on the keeper and he's dangerous too as a runner. Well, again, the formation, the change to the multiple formation of the wishbone and all these other things that Michigan is doing today. The blitz maybe, here comes the blitz. He had time, pumps it down. Incomplete, the official rule. I thought for sure that McMurtry, the freshman from Brockton, Mass, had it. And Kenny Sims, number nine, was the corner on the coverage. By the official. official was right there. When he 53 yards on the field goal by Mike Gillette, the long man. He's got it. All the scores coming up on the Prudential College Football Report at halftime. And again, oh, nice stick that time by McIntyre. Big fella, they've been waiting to come alive here in Ann Arbor. And he did with that tackle. 6'1", 241. He's a great athlete, can really move. That's Robert Smith. He lines him up in the tailback. And he moves him out to a flanker. Cuts him on the draw. Hammered by Billy Harris, the nose guard, leading the way. So Paholsky and the Hawkeyes come up. Balls at the 45, and they've got 247, and Paholsky to throw on first down, going deep down that right sideline for Morrow, and Garland Rivers intercepts it. Garland Rivers is out at the eight-yard line, and that's the first time today that Iowa has turned it over, but it's still a long haul for the Wolverines. Michigan defense has toughened up here. They gave up that touchdown on the opening drive. Cut to the offense, and Perriman busts out close to a first down. Ball is back on the Michigan 15. Straight back, goes long, wants Kolasar, and battling for Iowa, comes up with it. What a great play on that far side by Keaton Smiley, number 44. Paholsky throws to Robert Smith. Coming to the near sideline, and he can turn it on. Stepped inside that 30-yard line, got down to the 27. He's going to put it up. Goes for the end zone. Intercepted. That was Eric Campbell who stepped in. 
He was open, and he didn't hammer it right to him. Well, here's a ground level, ground level shot here. Paholski drops straight back and looks up the field. And here comes the ball. He was open, but the ball is up and hanging. You can see there it's wobbling a like a duck. And right there's that play by Eric Campbell. Morrow thought he had it. He took it right out of his hands. Great play. 54 seconds to go. Harbaugh running Morris on first down. And Jamie gets to the 33-yard line. Balls at the 41. They run White. Stays on his feet. He's across midfield running hard for the first down. And... Time and he comes up over the middle of Morris. Morris breaks free inside the 45. <laughs> they throw underneath to White and he is down at the 30 yard line with Rick Schmidt, number 11, bringing him down defensively. Different fullback this time is White. There he is, in the middle. there it is, right there. They use him. As a receiver, touchdown Michigan! And it was wide open. You'll see it. You'll see right here. White will go right through the line, right there. And, the, and both ends turn out to take away the defenders, and you see White wide open in the seat. Number 11, Smith misses the tackle there, and White pulls it into the end zone, and this is a 10-10 ball game. Now the Wolverine move into a 10-all tie, 9.35 in the third. We'll be right back. You got that right. First and 10. Thanks, Pat. On the rolls, Harbaugh. Zips one to the sideline, and Kolasar with his first reception of the day. And now Bo starts to open it up a little bit. Bounces right back up. It's third and 11 for the Wolverines. Blitz gets it off to Higgins, and Higgins slipped, or he might have gone all the way. Good adjustments by the Wolverine coaching staff now. And coming back, Jamie Morris sort of squirts through that. <laughs> Look at him crawling. <laughs> He comes free and he's crawling down there inside the 30-yard line. Oh, here's Wilson. What a big hole that time over the left side. Great blocking by the offensive line. And here's the second and four. Here's White. Running hard. He's got it. There it is. From the end zone, you'll see the cross buck. He fakes to the fullback, and look at that hole through there. An, an excellent power running. Look at him reach for that end zone. And the first touchdown on the ground against Iowa this year. And on the far side, Mark Classic snaps on a chin strap. We'll be right back. See, that's what hurts. Real him. big trouble out there. Really confused. With Moeller on that sideline right now. Classic backs up further and he will not break free. John Willingham, number 39, did a fine job defensively. Better, better throw that same confused defense in again. <laughs> I mean, now that's the one you need. <laughs> White and Morris are the running backs. You like Yoki over the middle on this play. There it is. Overthrow intercepted by the Hawkeyes. And that is Sistrunk. The nickel man who'd come in the game gets it inside the 20-yard line. A huge turnover. That's the fourth turnover by Michigan in this game. Classic straight back. In the end zone, and Smith, who's got it. Touchdown, Iowa. 11.15 to go. Michigan and Iowa are tied at 17. Just what you'd expect. With a touchdown pass. So 11 11 here. Remaining tied at 17. Harbaugh on the keeper coming around the left side. 
And he gets out to the 34-yard line for the first down. There's Harbaugh, 12 of 22 for 167, and that touchdown pass you referred to. It's Higgins for the first time. Higgins, a first down. The 48-yard line, a 13-yard gain. Harbaugh to Higgins. How's that wishbone look that Bo Schembechler has used a lot here today? There's the pitch, and it's Wiltshire who just come in the game. Out of bounds, Kerry Burt, the safety. Harbaugh and took a penalty flag coming down. And it may be unnecessary roughness or personal foul against the Hawkeyes. Perriman's pointing towards the Hawkeyes, personal foul, and it is. Straight back, and Harbaugh will run. No, he throws it. He saw the open man with Jokish. Beautiful pass. Hammered at the five-yard line. That was a great play by Harbaugh. You see, Harbaugh has a presence of mind. He's going to run with the ball, but he still looks up the field. Look out. Harbaugh keeps it. Sims comes in. Gets him at the ten-yard line. And it will be Moons attempting the 27-yarder. No good. It was off to the kicker's right. Great goal line stand, Brent, by the Hawkeyes. What a play by Sims down there. Uh, it really was. They brought the corner blitz. So they'll have two tight ends in this tie-dye formation. The pitch, the pass, he fumbles it. Michigan jumps on the ball on the far sideline. They've got a chance at the 157 mark. Andy Muller, the defensive captain, goes and gets the biggest turnover of the afternoon. The thought was good here. They really had the play, but he fumbled the ball. He double fakes inside, then comes down on the option, and they had the corner. I think he would have gotten the first down, although it had been close, but he fumbled the football. Remember that Michigan has another field goal kicker. His name is Gillette, and he nailed a 53-yarder early on. They do not have to get real close for him to have a shot. Here's White, down to the 45, with the clock running inside of 150. He's going to put it up. Over the middle, complete to Morris. First down to the 37-yard line. They run the delay. And Morris squirts to the 33-yard line. That is short of the first down. It's Colasar in motion. Green dumps it off on the screen to Morris. Morris gets to the 20-yard line. Clock running at the 25-second mark. Gillette with a kick that could win it. It's on its way, and he's got it. Michigan beats Iowa. Mike Gillette, the sophomore from St. Joseph, Michigan, who attended St. Joe's High School, who had lost his job prior to the Ohio State game because of disciplinary reasons, comes in here today and kicks the longest in the school's history, and then at this moment, it's most important, the one that beats Iowa 20-17. to His coach over on the sideline. A typical Michigan-Iowa game. Four of the last six games between these two schools have been decided by a field goal. 